Welcome to another episode of the Grateful Gym Podcast. I'm the host, Jasmine Chanel, and today we are talking about getting right with me. Stick around because gems are definitely about to be dropped, so get ready. Before I get into this episode, I need everyone listening to this podcast to follow the podcast on Instagram at the Grateful Gym Pod and also follow your girl at Jasmine Chanel. Don't worry, I'll spell it out for you and put it in the episode notes. Okay, let's get started. Welcome back, Jams. This episode is long overdue. Don't shame me. I'm shaming myself. But seriously, this episode is long overdue, you guys. I have been just struggling with my time management to be honest I have started my new job and it sort of feels like I'm in school so I'm trying to get back on track with my schedule and my time maintenance and and you guys to be honest it's not really working but (sighs) take a deep breath I'm gonna get it right so I do apologize for the long wait hopefully everything is going good in your life I pray that you are continuing to walk by faith and not by sight and that most importantly you're shining at the gym you are so today I'm gonna do things a little different the last episode was get ready with me this episode is gonna be get right with me so um basically like a part two series kind of thing hopefully you enjoy it hopefully you take some notes from it And I just want to kind of reflect on some things that, of course, I'm going through right now. So, the first thing that I'm trying to do is, by getting right, is by being able to manage my time better. I have not been able to really accommodate my time schedule lately. I haven't really been hanging out with friends. I haven't really been going anywhere. I haven't really been doing anything. I literally have been going to work and coming home. And on the weekend, on Saturday, I might go out like one or two places and then I'm like, oh, I'm ready to go home. And I can't be like that. Like, you can't seclude yourself from the world. You have to be willing to get out of your funk or get out of your lazy. I'm not even in the funk. I'm just in a lazy mood. And I just think I'm overwhelmed with everything. This new job is really overwhelming me. It's a great experience, but it is a bit overwhelming. So I pray that I'm able to get energy to be back on my schedule because I haven't really been working out like I used to. I go on the weekends, but it's not really how I used to go. So I'm trying to get back in the groove of that this week. I am hoping that I can be (laughs) successful with that. Um, I definitely feel like I've lost a lot of time within these last, what, two weeks? Um, I haven't really, like I said, I haven't really done much. So, Hopefully, I can just get up and get some energy to do everything that I need to do. I'm planning a lot of things for my other business, for my design business. And trying to get that done is stressful. So, I think that I'm just trying to really avoid stress. Because I have a lot of things going on with work and with my business, with my life. It's just a lot. And I'm just kind of overwhelmed, honestly. But I want to encourage everybody that, even myself... That you have to be able to get up and keep going because the outcome of whatever you're going through and whatever you're doing is going to be successful. And I'm so good at giving other people other advice, but I'm not really good at taking my own, honestly. I am so motivated and positive towards everybody else, but when it comes to myself, I second guess myself a lot. I overthink a lot and it's just beginning to be a bit much. And the second guessing thing comes second nature because we're in training or I'm in training at my new job and we have a lot of quizzes. We had a midterm Friday. We had, um, we have a final exam. I'm like, oh my God, I'm not a good quiz taker. I'm not a good test taker. I just overthink myself. Even when I know that I can give you the answer off bat if you're not asking me like in a question form, but to look at it on paper, I'm like, it's just my mental y'all. I don't know, pray for me, okay, because (laughs) I don't know what's going on, but I just try to really keep myself relaxed because I really get overwhelmed with that, and I never, I've never been a good test taker or a quiz taker, and I remember when I was in college when I graduated, I had to take this math class over like four times, and I still didn't pass it, and I'm actually looking to enroll in school 
in spring and I was talking to the lady today and I'm like don't tell me I'm gonna have to take this math class again and she was saying that from the information I provided it looks like I'm gonna be able to wave down I'm like oh thank god hopefully I can because I love math and I can do it like the back of my hand but when it comes to those tests I don't know I just I'm not a good test taker so I've actually talked myself on a lot of certifications and things like that because I'm not a good test taker I can know the information all day long but I suck at tests so yeah, I think that's another reason why I'm just overwhelmed with everything that's going on because I'm overwhelmed with these tests. I'm overwhelmed with trying to plan um, this workshops, workshop and I'm just frustrated really. I'm flustered because I'm not able to do everything in a timely manner that I thought I was going to do. It's easier in my mind than it is in reality. So... I'm just going to have to learn to time manage myself better. So, yes, that's just a little bit of updates. Um, I'm also, honestly, you guys, going through some things in my relationship that is just, uh, it's taking a lot as well. Um, I haven't really fully dealt with those things, and I'm just trying to figure out how to manage it all, you know. I really hope that anyone that may be going through these same things or maybe getting upset and frustrated that they're just taking a step back and just breathing in and breathing out and literally that's what I've been having to do it doesn't always work <laughs> it doesn't always work y'all I'm gonna be honest it doesn't always work but it does help a little because it reminds me to calm down to breathe and just think before I speak or do something stupid because five minutes from now I'm going to regret what I did or regret what I said. And to be honest, the person I am, I'm not going to regret it. <laughs> but I want to be like, oh, man, now I got to smooth things over with you, trying to make things right. But, yeah, so, guys, this is just an honest podcast. And I'm just, uh, I'm just, I'm all over the place, honestly. But I'm praying that this week I can get back on track. <laughs> so, I'm just really excited. But I do, um, the reason why I really am recording this podcast is one, because it was long overdue, but that's not honestly the 100% truth why I'm recording it. I'm recording because I had the craziest thing happen to me today. I was talking to this lady at my new job, and I was telling her about my interview process. And I was telling her about this lady that I was supposed to interview with. And she was like, oh my God, girl, I'm just so excited that you didn't get that lady because nine times out of ten, had you got her, you probably wouldn't have got the job. And, you know, my sister, she applied with her and she interviewed with her and she didn't get it. And it was, she's just really tough and da, da, da. And y'all, I sat there and I literally had to be beyond grateful because my interview process for this new job was crazy. Like, I did the application in like June. And I didn't hear anything back until like August, end of August. And then I had my interview. The person that I was supposed to interview with, she wasn't available or she was there but wasn't at her desk. And the people at the security office couldn't contact her. I didn't have a phone to contact her, a phone number to contact her. So I ended up interviewing with two other people. I was like, oh, great. It went from one person to two people. But it was a very relaxed environment. I felt right at home and I was so glad that that turn happened that shift I was really frustrated honestly at first because I was like oh my god like (sighs) Jasmine like this is annoying I came here for an interview the interview was supposed to be at like 12 I don't think we did an interview until like 12 30 then they didn't give me proper directions on where to park so I parked in like the wrong area it was y'all it was all over the place honestly But looking back on that today, I was just like, oh my God, like I'm so grateful because imagine had I went through all that, got the interview and didn't get the job, I would have been so frustrated. And the reason that I brought this message up is because I want to remind people that sometimes that the turns in our life are for the better. Sometimes we do things and we go through things that... We don't want to experience, but we have to in order to become that person that God is wanting us to be. And sometimes the person that God sees us as and and is molding us into be is honestly not the person that 
we're seeing ourselves as self as or the person that we're trying to be. So God is trying to take us to better and we're trying to take ourselves to different levels and different heights that we think is better. So you have to be able to honestly step out and trust God and just know that everything happens for a reason. And I was actually having a conversation with my sister today and I let her know that I'm just a person that don't believe in coincidences. I feel that everything happens for a reason at the right time, at the right place. But ultimately, the choice is ours to make. Even with when it comes to trusting God, he gives us a choice to trust him and to walk by faith and to lean on his word time and time again. He gives us a choice to do the right thing or do the wrong thing. And even when we do the wrong thing, he gives us a choice to repent or not to repent. And once we repent, he gives us that option again to make the right decision or the wrong decision. And, you know, it's a pattern and it's a choice. So anything that comes in life, is not forced. There's not things that we do that is forced on us. Some of those things are. I'm not going to sit here and say that, but I'm talking about general things, you know. Um, there's just some life things that happen to you that you're not expecting that you honestly can't control. I can think of a lot of things that has happened to me that I really didn't have control of, but I had a choice in how that was going to affect me and how I was going to let it take over the rest of my life. So I guess you can't say there's a choice in everything. Um, you have to take the negative and turn it into positive and take the positive and exceed the positive that you have in order to have something great. And I really hope that someone is being benefited from what I'm saying because I'm there. You know, I'm really frustrated. Like I said, everything in my life is crazy right now. I told you my relationship is just, it's it's all over the place. We're having issues with the same things that we were, we're not, I'm not going to say the same things. We're having issues really with communication. And my problem is... When I'm upset or when something pisses me off and I don't talk about it right then and there, I hold on to it. And when the next thing happens, I blow up. It may just be the simple thing, you drank my water. But I'm upset, not only because you drank my water, but because you drank my water yesterday. Not only did you drink my water yesterday, but you ate my chips the day before that. And I told you I wanted those chips. That was the last bag they had in the store. Da, da, da. <laughs> you know, that, re- that didn't really happen. But I'm just being... Um, showing you an example of how things can linger and I have to be a product of our own knowledge and really take into consideration the things that I'm saying it's easier said than done honestly but I'm just at a point where I'm tired of being overwhelmed um like I said I am overwhelmed with work and I'm going to have to find a result to getting better from that as well because I don't want to just go to work come home 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 because that's not a life and, you know, I have friends that ask me all the time, what do you do for fun? And sadly, I don't do it. I haven't done anything, honestly, lately. But but prepare for this workshop. And once it gets on my nerves, I put it down. So I'm just, I'm at a point where I want to get right. I want to get back on track. And, you know, for whoever is listening to this, if you need to get on track, get on track. Get on track with me. Get on track with yourself. And let's walk this walk together because there's nothing greater than being able to accomplish a goal better and faster, not faster, but better and in great expectation than being overcome. And I know it's easier said than done, but I pray that you continue to walk through the journey because someone else is depending on you. And that's something that I had to take into consideration today as well. You know, that someone else may be watching you. Someone else may be leaning on what you're doing and how you're taking something. You guys may be going through the same thing, but you're reacting differently. So be a leader, not only for yourself, but for someone that may be watching you. And for the person that's that's watching you and you don't know. So take heed into what you do. Take heed into what you say and how you react to certain things. Not only when you're in the privacy of your home, but in the privacy and publicly um, in front of other people. So I hope you guys have a great week. This podcast episode is going to be a little quick. It wasn't much that I had to say, but I did want to get that off my chest and apologize for the wait, (laughs) but it's over. Hopefully I will be back with another episode on time. Preferably time management will be something that I can overcome. And I just want to say, have a great week. Be blessed. Keep shining as the gems you are. And thank you so much for listening in because I do appreciate each and every one of you. Bye.